Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Majina ni Nyangiri Mohenga Thomas. Somo la kwanza. Somo katika kitabu cha mwanzo. Mungu alimjaribu Ibrahimu akamwambia, "E Ibrahimu, naye akasema, mimi hapa." Akasema, "Umchukue mwanao, mwana wako wa pekee, mpendaye Isaka, ukaende na zako mpaka nji ya Moria, ukamtoe sadaka ya kuteketezwa huko juu ya mlima." mmoja wapo ndakao kwambia wakafika mahali pale alipoambiwa na Mungu na Mungu Ibrahimu akaonyesha mkono wake akakitua aka kisu ili amchinje mwanawe ndipo malaika wa Bwana akamuita kutoka mbinguni akasema Ibrahimu Ibrahimu naye akasema mimi hapa akasema usimnyoshe kijana mkono wako wala usimtendee neno kwa maana sasa ninajua ya kuwa unamcha Mungu iwapo huku nizui huku nizuilia mwanao mwanao pekee Ibrahimu akainua macho yake akaangalia Natazama kondoa mume yuko nyuma yake amenaswa pembe zake katika kichaka basi Ibrahimu akaenda akamtua huyo kondoo akamtoa awe sadaka ya kuteketeza badala ya mwanawe malaika wa Bwana akamuita Ibrahimu mara ya pili kutoka mbinguni akasema Nimeapa kwa nafsi yangu asema Bwana kwa kuwa umetenda neno hili wala huku nizuilia mwanao mwanao wa pekee katika kubariki nitakubariki na katika kuzidisha nitaizidisha uzao wako kama nyota za mbinguni na kama mchanga uliopo pwani na uzao wako utamiliki mlango adui zako na katika uzao wako mataifa yote ya dunia watajibarikia kwa sababu umetii sauti ya Bwana na hilo ndilo neno la Bwana Tumsifu Yesu Kristo karibu kwa wimbo wa katikati wimbo wa katikati kwa maneno nitaenenda mbele za Bwana katika nji za walio hai Waimbaji ni Wycliffe Manyara pamoja na Nyangiri Mohenga Thomas. Sauti kwa kuimba. Nitaenda mbele za Bwana katika nji za walio hai. Nitaenda mbele za Bwana katika nji za walio hai naliamini kwa maana nitasema mimi naliteswa sana ina dhamani macho ni pa bwana mauti ya wacha mungu
Somo la pili. Somo ilivyoandikwa na mtume Paulo kwa Warumi. Sura ya nane mstari wa na moja hadi na ine. Mungu akiwapo upande wetu, ni nani aliye juu yetu? Yeye asiyemwachilia mwanawake mwenyewe, bali alimtoa kwa ajili yetu sisi sote atakosaje kutukirimia na mambo yote pamoja naye ni nani atakayewashtaki wateule wa Mungu Mungu ndiye mwenye kuwahesabia haki ni nani atakayewahukumia adhabu Kristu Yesu ndiye aliyekufa na na saidi ya hayo amefufuka katika wafu naye yuko mkono wa kuume wa Mungu tena ndiye anayetuombea neno la Bwana shangilio saudi ya papa ilitoka katika wingu jeupe huyu ni mwanangu mpendwa wangu msikieni yeah, yeah. Praise God. My name is Amkada Mekulet. Welcome to the reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, Mark chapter 9 verses 2 to 9. It says, Now after six days, Jesus took Peter, James and John and led them up on a higher mountain, apart by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. His clothes became shiny, exceedingly white, like snow, such as snow laudary on the earth can whiter them. And Elijah appeared to them with Moses, and they were talking with Jesus. Then Peter answered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here and let us make three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah, because he did not know what to say. For they were greatly afraid, and a cloud came and overshadowed them. And a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved son. Hear him. Suddenly, when they had looked around, they saw no one anymore, but only Jesus with themselves. Now as they came down from the mountain, he commanded them that they should tell no one the things they had seen till the Son of Man has risen from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, today the church celebrates the second Sunday of Lent. We are invited to journey with Jesus during this Lenten season to suffer with him. The church invites us to a life of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. We are invited to encounter 
with God. We can reach that climax of encounter with God by serving our brothers and sisters. Fasting, prayer, and almsgiving is not just for our good or it's not just for our salvation. It's for the salvation of all. If we do these three things genuinely from deep within our hearts we will experience a God in our lives. Fasting needs sacrifice. You deny yourself that which you like most to help your neighbor. You deny yourself that which you like most in order for you to grow deeply in your relationship with God. Prayer makes us in contact with God. We communicate with Him day by day. Arms giving, it means that we are ready to give that which we have sacrificed to our brothers and sisters who need it the most. So as you think on what to do during this Lent and season, know that whatever you do is not for is not only for your benefit, it's for the benefit of the church, for the people of God. I will invite us to think deeply about our Christian life and be ready to change and conform to God's will. Today's gospel is amazing. It's one of my favorite. We see Jesus with his disciples. Peter, James, and John. And he climbs a high mountain with them. A community. Whenever we walk as a community, whenever we give each other a hand, we will experience greater things. And while Jesus is at the high mountain with his disciples, he's transfigured. His divinity is revealed. But it will take time for the disciples to understand this. Out of maybe some misunderstanding, Peter is quick to react to this experience. He says to Jesus, Master, Rabbi, Teacher, it's good that we are here. Let us make three tents. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Friends, our faith goes through high points. And when it goes through high points, we experience God's love and this is what Peter is going through during high point we feel so close to Jesus that we can touch him we feel so close to God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit we want to tell him our story. We want to be with him for all eternity. But there is also the other side of the experience. Sometimes 
we can go through low points. And sometimes we don't want to mention low points. We don't want it to be mentioned. And this is what Jesus is telling us today. That there cannot be a resurrection without the suffering. As Peter is trying to say, it's good for us to be here. Jesus is telling him, Peter, we have to continue our journey to Jerusalem. I have to carry my cross. And I invite you to come with me, to walk with me. During this Lenten season, God is inviting us to walk with him, to suffer with him, and at the end, to resurrect with him. And we see this revelation of Jesus' identity as the Son of God. As the disciples uh, listen to Jesus tell them about his mission, that he has to suffer, he has to be crucified, you know, he has uh, to die and resurrect, God reveals clearly who is Jesus. And the voice says, This is my beloved son. Listen to him. My dear brothers and sisters, during this Lenten season, let us listen to God. Let us walk with Him through prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Let us say yes to Him day by day moment by moment let us welcome him in our hearts amen